Hi, I'm Kevin Kuzner, uh, Principal Hardware Engineer at NI. Hey, I'm Smriti Rao and I'm a Staff Analog Hardware Engineer at NI. Um, and we are going to uh, demonstrate the uh, new PX or 300 watt PXI uh, PMIC test system. Um, this system it, uh, consists of a uh, new power supply, the PXIE4151, and a new electronic load, the PXIE4050. Uh, these will be releasing later this year. Um, along with the new APS uh, 4138 uh, power supply unit. Um, this demonstration is testing a uh, LTM, uh, what is that? LTM 4676 uh, PMIC by, uh, uh, by ADI. Um, this is one of those fancy ones where you can uh, reconfigure it through I squared C. Um, and what this demo is going to do is it is going to configure that to uh, like output a specific voltage and then we are going to uh, test it with our system. So um, this first uh, test is doing a DUT efficiency uh, where we uh, supply power to the uh, to the DUT and then we uh, draw power from it and we measure the difference um, to see exactly how much is being lost. Um, and so the uh, takes a couple seconds to run uh, because it is reconfiguring this. Um, and every time it runs, it is going to uh, sweep from a, uh, um, like the input voltage from 9 volts up to 20 volts. Uh, and then it is going to sweep the load current from 0 amps to about 24 amps. And so you can see that the efficiency curve follows the uh, typical pattern you would expect for something like this, where at lower currents, um, it's lower efficiency since it's dominated by the uh, actual buck converter itself, but as it gets higher, you get higher efficiency, which is the main draw of switching converters. So uh, this is useful for uh, power management IC tests, uh, for uh, verifying data sheets, things like that. Um, the uh, other test we have here is a load transient response test, which is often another thing that uh, you'll want to know the, the characteristics of with, with one of these things. What this, this demonstration is doing um, is it is uh, sourcing, or sorry, it's sourcing the uh, power to the to this and then using our programmable uh, sequence step capability for the electronic load through the NIDC power driver to raise the uh, load current from one amp up to 20 and then back down again. Um, so if I, if I run this, um, this one actually runs pretty fast because it skips the reconfiguration step. Uh, you can see that there is a small, a small glitch in in the uh, output voltage as it goes down, as you would expect for something like this. And uh, um, the, uh, yeah, so, oh, occasionally the demo does that. Get a bad cable. Um, yeah, so anyway, you, the, uh, you can sweep through device parameters, output voltages, things like that, and uh, see how the, uh, uh, the transit would behave. So that's this demo. Uh, thank you.